Lactix's Laura Langamo explains why this actually could be a sign of something much bigger. Cleanup has already begun outside of Hawks Nursery in Wauwatosa, even though Christmas is still about two weeks away. I was absolutely shocked when I came in here, so I don't know where to go now. According to the National Christmas Tree Association, in 2010, people across the U.S. spent nearly $1 billion on holiday trees. Many nurseries and tree farms in southeastern Wisconsin say they've seen a dramatic increase in 2011. This year, the Christmas tree sales have been fantastic. Uh, we uh, bought in the same number of trees as last year, and last year we had 130 left, and today we're down to two. <laughs> Christmas tree officials attribute this increase in sales to positive signs in the economy and the weather. We're um, such a seasonal business that uh, when the weather is nice, people come out and they shop. Hawks Nursery has also seen an increase in artificial tree sales. On our interior trees, uh, um, our sales are up 30 percent for the artificial pre-lit Christmas trees this year. So uh, definitely the Christmas came early here at Hawks. Now many customers are wishing they started their Christmas tree shopping a little earlier. Way too small. I mean, I, <laughs> the kids would be in shock if they saw, you know, 12-foot ceilings with, with uh, three-inch trees. <laughs> Yesterday, they were people were fighting over the last, <laughs> the last of what we had. But come 2012, Hawks plans to be prepared for the rush of tree shoppers. Next year, I'm, I'm planning on buying more. <laughs> I'll be optimistic that we'll have another good year. In Wauwatosa, Laura Langamo, Fox 6 News. The National Christmas Tree is said not have.